All right, gang, and welcome back to Procreate. So this is our lesson on layer masks. So we talked about layers in another lesson. We also looked at different ways to do what is called masking, right? Now, masking is covering part of the image so that you don't get paint on it. It's exactly what masking tape is named after and used for. So what I'm going to show you here is how to create a layer mask. So what I'd like you to do, let's go ahead and open up a layer. And let's grab any color. I'm going to make mine green. And now we're going to create a layer on top. And I'm going to make mine red. Now again, the reason I do these simple lessons is because if you get the concept down, we apply them to the projects in our course. All right, so let's check our layer structure. Red layer, green layer. And now tap on the red layer. And you'll see that there is an option for a mask. Okay, now you see this mask layer has been created. This mask layer, folks, is locked to that layer too, which means you cannot take it and move it. It is locked to that layer. You see it's taking the red along with it. So you cannot select it as a layer. It's a little bit different animal. Now, remember from earlier lessons, black conceals, white reveals. So on a mask layer, if you're going to paint on it, it is 100% shades of gray. So let's go ahead, let's select a totally black color, and it doesn't matter what the brush is. Let's pick a nice uh, artistic one. Let's go ahead and grab one from our spray paints. Let's go ahead and grab the Flix, okay? That one comes stock. Now you're saying, Jeremy, I'm going to paint on the red surface with a black pen. I expect to see black. But the trick is, you're actually painting on this layer mask. So watch what happens. We're going to crank our size up here. Why am I painting in black but getting green? The reason is, folks, because black conceals. So if you paint black on the red layer, it conceals the red and shows the layer underneath it. That's why masks are completely different. Okay? So if you're painting in black, it's 100% concealed. You cannot see the red layer. Now let's go ahead and paint over some of this in white. Now, common sense would tell us that we will see white paint. Let's go ahead and change our brush up to a hard brush. There we go. And now, Let's go ahead and touch it down. We're painting in white. And what's happening to our green dots? Well, if black conceals, then white reveals. If you paint on the mask layer with a white color, you will then reveal the red layer. I know that sounds extremely complicated right now, and it's just one of those things you're going to have to trust me on and live with and work with and do. So, if I paint over in white, it reveals the red layer. Now, how does this work in shades of gray? Well, let's go ahead and pull up a gray palette. We're going to set that to default. You know how to do this by now. And let's go ahead and grab the gray, and let's see what happens. Now, why is the green layer showing through? Well... Is it 100% black? Nope, but it's pretty close. What about this mid-tone of gray? Ah, a little bit of the green shows through. So the point here, folks, is that somewhere between pure black, which is right here, this color of black, which is right here, this mid-tone of gray, which is right here, and pure white, which is right here, you see me removing that with the white, it reveals a little bit of the green at a time. So the trick with mask layers, folks, is it's not just black and white, but every tone of gray in between reveals a little bit more of that layer underneath it. So that's what a mask layer does. And then if you get tired of it, just click here, and then you can go through and delete your mask layer just like that. 
All right, folks, that's a little bit of mask layers. I know it doesn't make a tremendous amount of sense right now, but this is one of those things you just keep applying and applying and applying, and eventually in digital art, it begins to click. Later in the project that's coming up, we're going to use this in a practical application. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next one.